So what do you do when you're traveling by yourself and you have a dead battery and no one around to jump you? I'm gonna show you the one thing that every traveler should have in their car no matter what. All right, so here's a scenario. My car is making this insanely annoying beeping sound. I don't know why. It seems to be coming from the trunk area here. So that's this noise it's making. I don't know why the power lift gate will not come up on the back and it's not turning over. So if I get in here, let's see, I get the keys out. So I got the keys right here, the key fob, come in here to the car, got my foot on the brake and try and start it. But it's not doing anything. Um, yeah, so I think my battery's dead. And you can probably hear that beeping sound coming from the back. So this is what I'm going to use today to jump my car. It's the Noku Boost Sport, and this is a portable battery jumper. It's a lithium-ion battery. It's very small. You can see where it's hold I'm holding it in my hand. And turn it on. It's got a battery indicator there. It actually has a built-in flashlight that I don't need right now, but it does have that. And I do also like it because it has USB on here, and this is, actually becomes a portable power bank. I can plug in my phone, or if I had a tablet, I could do that. But today I'm gonna use it to jump the car, so I'm gonna show you how to use that. All right, well, you can probably still hear my car beeping like crazy. I don't know why it's beeping, but I'm gonna jump it with this Noku Boost Sport here, and it actually comes with these alligator clamps, and one end looks like this. So I'm gonna plug it into here, now let's go over to the battery of the car and hook these up. All right, now that I got the hood up and I got the battery in front of me, I'm just literally gonna hook these up, positive, positive, negative to negative, and turn it on, and that's it. All right, I got my alligator clamps on my battery. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on, and it should get enough boost for the car. All right, well, you probably couldn't hear it, but I can actually hear some of the things in the car starting to engage a little bit better. So I just heard some of the things like the locks and with the tailgate making a noise. So I know this has done its job. So let's go ahead and try to turn over the engine and see what happens. And already I got a better sound than before. I actually have sound coming from the fact that my door is open. That was not happening before. I also have all my lights on in my car and that's a much better sign. So we're gonna go ahead and fire this up. And just like that, the car starts right up. All right, well, the car's all started up thanks to my portable battery jumper. I really recommend that you get one if you're traveling, especially alone. By the way, I am not endorsed by any way by this company. It's just something I bought before I hit the road and I'm really glad I had it today. All right, real quick, while I was editing this video, I actually realized that I didn't do a very good job of actually explaining this thing to you. So I thought I'd give it another shot here in this post video. So once again, the thing that I used to jump my car in the video was the Noku Boost Sport. It's a lithium ion uh, battery jumper. It's literally just a battery pack. You can use it for anything, but primarily it's sold and marketed as being able to jump your car. Um, this happens to be the GB20. I don't know what the GB stands for, but I noticed online they do have GB40s and some other models. Um, this particular one is 500 amps and it was specifically made to jump a small car like mine. You do want to just make sure that the battery pack you get can jump your car. If you have a bigger car, uh, you're going to want more amperage probably. Um, so this one fit me. This one retails for $80, and I noticed that you can get that price uh, on Amazon, but also just in a retail store. So I actually walked into like a, a auto parts store and picked this up off the shelf. That way I didn't have to worry pay for shipping and handling or just wait to have it shipped to me or anything. So the reason I bought this is because as a solo traveler, I didn't want to be in a position you saw in the video where I'm in the middle of nowhere and I have a dead battery and you have to maybe wait a couple hours for someone to drive by you or call AAA or your auto insurance or whoever and get someone to send, come out to you to, to jump your car. So I bought this right before I left and <laughs> funny enough, I actually forgot I had this. Uh, it wasn't until about I don't know, maybe two months ago. And as I was cleaning up my car, just vacuuming it and trying to clean, clean it up a little bit, that I came across this and I was like, oh yeah, I totally forgot I had this. And sure enough, uh, a couple weeks later, I actually ended up having to use it. A um, couple things that are great about this model is first off, turn it on and it gives you battery indicators of how good the battery is. So you always know if it's got a full charge or not. 
Um, I find that I get about two car jumps out of this. Um, I've actually been having some uh, car uh, battery issues lately on my car. And um, so I've actually gotten two jumps uh, out, of, out of this before I have to charge it again. And it actually has reverse polarity on it. So in case you're maybe for some reason colorblind, uh, red you know goes to positive and black goes to negative if you reverse that for somehow you would not mess up anything it's reverse polarity and that's what that means and then as an added bonus it actually has a built-in flashlight i mentioned in the video and there it is press it again and you can dim it or you get like a strobe effect if you need to have kind of like a, a hazard kind of light on you so i actually do like using that it's very simple to use on one end you actually have this is what's going to plug up to the to the alligator clamps. You plug it in to here. Hook it up to the car. Fire it up with the power button and that's it. And then another thing that's great about this one is it has USB out so you can plug it up to your phone, tablet or computer and you can get enough battery pack to charge your small electronics. But this actually charges uh, with micro USB to USB A. So this right here, USB A, will plug directly into, I just plug it in the power inverter in the teardrop to charge this whenever I have needed to use it. And the other end plugs into the battery pack. It comes with a little bag, so it makes easy, so it makes it very easy to pack everything away, keep everything in here. And then I just put this underneath my car seat, like I said. All right, again, I am in no way affiliated with this product. Again, it's just something I bought for peace of mind, being on the road. I think it's something that pretty much any car owner should have. I have uh, battery jumper cables in the car, so if another car was around me, I could jump my car that way if necessary, but I thought this was a smart move while I'm out here all by myself, and I don't ever know if I'm gonna have other people around me. So again, this was just peace of mind. Uh, I think any car owner should have one, no matter if you're traveling or not. Thanks for escaping normal life with me.